you want to test your smart contract using hard hat then you have to know how to do the setup of your local host in your metamask and this is very basic every single detail is already provided in the metamask documentation so i thought let's make a video one more time so you guys can refer to it so if i show you my metamask i have already added localhost in here in the network section so if i come back here into the details section there you can find all the details which we have provided include the chain id symbol explorer and this is the rpc url so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add it manually to show you first thing i will come back in the network section i'll select to the other network like let's go to the polygon amoy right now i'm into the polygon now i will come back here in the localhost i'll click here and i will delete this one Right now, I don't have localhost right up here. So what I will do, I'll simply click on this add custom network. And here I have to fill out all the detail. You can literally call whatever you want. I'll say local host. And here we have to add the RPC URL. So this is the local RPC URL we'll get from the MetaMask. And that's what I'm going to copy. And let's provide it. So let's open this up. I'll come back. Uh, let's click on this add custom network. Let's call this local host. And we can click on the RPC URL. And if I click here and click on the URL, if I provide it, it's going to throw me in an error. And I can simply call whatever I want. So I'll say, let's say URL. That's that's what I want to call it. Click on the add. So here it's added. And you can see I'm getting this error. You can even provide the chain ID. So I'll say go with 31337. This is the chain ID. Even I can provide the symbol like go. But it's not going to work. You can see I'm getting this particular error that it's not detached and the reason why it's happening because we want to test our application locally using hard hat but our local node is not running so we have to run our local node then we can able to add this particular network in our application so if i come back here into my code and this is the application the health management app i hope you guys have watched this particular video so come back here and make sure to watch this in which i have explained that what exactly we're going to develop so 90 percent of the project is almost done like you can simply watch in that I've explained everything that how you have to do the setup. Everything is explained in here. And that's the same project in which I'm going to give you the demo. So you can see all the configuration is done for the localhost. That's what I have activated. If you see my config file here is activated the localhost. Localhost. That's good. Now first thing we have to deploy our contract. So if I come back here in the script section in the deploy. Here we have this particular command which we have to run for deploying. If I show you my node version, I'm using this one 18.17.1 because right now hardhat is compatible with this particular version. If you want to go above this, it will not work because hardhat will unpack the entire packages and you cannot be able to use hardhat. So make sure to use the exact version. This is the version of node. If I show you my, let's say NPM, this is the version I'm using, which is well enough to test our contract. So before we actually run this particular command, we have to run our local node. So simply type npx hard at node hit enter and it's going to start our local blockchain. This one is very important. If you start this one, then you can able to add the network. You can see our RPC URL got started. You can simply copy this one and now you can add it. Now you can able to add the local network successfully. So if I come back here, go back So this is my click here come back here click on this add network you can call whatever you want i'll say local host you can give the rpc url this time we'll not have any issue i'll provide this one i'll say url and click on this add url right now i'm not getting that red because our local node is running i can give the chain id is going to be 31337 this is the chain id for the local host i can give the symbol call go and now i can click on this save and this network is added successfully. So if I come back to the network section, you will find the network is added successfully. I can simply click here. And right now the fund is zero. This particular fund is zero because I'm using the actual account. I have to use the hardware account. So if I come back here, this is my hardware account 2266. If I click here, it will have this much fund. You can see it will have 10,000 fake ether. But the moment I will deploy the contract, this fund will be deducted. So I'll simply split this one. Now I can simply copy this portion command, paste here and hit enter. And here you can see the application is getting deployed. It's going to compile our contract and it will give us the artifact, which we have to simply provide. So just a moment, we'll soon have our artifact and our contract will be deployed locally. So we can able to test that. So here you can see it's compiled successfully. You can simply copy that one and the same addresses 
is already here so because we have activated test network make sure to watch that video i have explained everything in that now we got the artifact if i come back to the contract we already have this but when you deploy your contract make sure you have to provide your actual artifact which you get so i'll simply drag and drop here perfect got it everything is looking great we have deployed our contract now we can start our application type npm run dev and it will start our application on localhost 3000 you can see i'm not having any issue our application started on local his localhost 3000 and this should be running many of you stop this one and say it's not working it's, it's running now i can simply come back here and if i show you my metamask at the moment you can see we have by default hardhead will use the very first account and it's went down little less because hardhead use this account for deploying a contract and this account is the owner of the contract i hope you know this is very basic i'll simply click on this and it's going to start the application just a moment it's taking a little bit time and finally our application is live right now it will open this model so i don't want to use phantom wallet because i have phantom so let me quickly delete i'll say okay let me close this one and i want to remove this phantom wallet for a moment let's remove this one and let's come back here let's click on localhost is going to start the application and we have to use metamask you can see it will do all the configuration simply click on approve and here it's saying just skip it close this one reload the page here we have it we got it sometime you have to close all the existing tab in metamask now we can simply click one more time and you will find that you are connected you are connected there is no problem you can see your wallet and as we have discussed that you have to assign yourself as a doctor so let me log in i have logged in you can see the user is not registered i have to click on this connect and i'm connected so we have successfully done the connection i want you to simply do the advance clear that and refresh perfect you user is not registered so i have to register right now i cannot able to upload because i have to give my own private key for of pinata so if i come back here here you have to give your own pinata api key and secret key then you can able to upload that so finally i have provided all my pinata credential in my dot env file let's register myself one more time let me give this mr and let's say let's say the coders is a coders mail i'll simply copy this one and give in all the places so we should not waste time in typing i'll simply give this okay i have to give the number otherwise it will fail let me give the college id let's give the joining year and you can give a ending year let's give a specialization registration id college address and you have to give a wallet address as well so you can simply come here and you can copy your wallet address and that's what you can provide and you can upload your image so let's give this text and i'll say my image so i'll simply come back here go back to document and i'll simply upload it and it's uploading just a moment it's uploading and here you can see it's uploaded successfully i can click on this add doctor okay email id is missing so let's give the email id i'll say dolat gmail.com so we have provided the email id now i can simply click on this add doctor and here it's got register it will open the metamask just a moment it's taking a little bit of time here you can see it's making the transaction all of this data click on this confirm and you have registered the doctor as successfully or i'm the admin i can simply reload the page and you can see here we have it so this is what it explaining i can simply come back here in the profile section there i can simply check all of that you can see the transaction went through successfully the notification is also working fine and if you want to have the dashboard so you have to do the changes so i can simply come back here in the config file i can close this one and here i have to set myself as a admin and i have to activate this one because we are using localhost if you are using any other network make sure to provide your address so i'm going to simply activate this here i have to simply activate this i'm going to simply close this one and i have to simply activate this because we are using the local host and this is the address and it's our admin so if i come back here you can see we got the this dashboard component where i can see all the patient doctor everything is looking good 
all the things looking great. So now I hope you have understood. This is how you have to do the configuration. It's very easy. So that's the only thing I want to cover. Make sure to watch this complete video. Come back to the blockchain coder. There you will find tons of project. In all of the project which we have discussed extensively that how you have to run the project. Every single thing is explained extensively. Build at least five projects. When you will build five projects, you will understand that how to build any Web3 application. It's pretty easy. Okay. So that's the only thing I want to talk about it. I hope you guys have understood how things work. With that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.